Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial about setting up your preferences. I'm Buddy Blackford and I want to start immediately on getting these getting through these uh, different preferences. So this time we're in the guides grid and slices preferences and uh, we can go over this one fairly quickly. And by the way, to get to your preferences, you just come up to edit here and then preferences is down at the bottom. So let's get into this. So guides are the um, th the lines that you can pull down from your rulers over here on the side where like my mouse is right now. And up here at the top you can pull down guides. And I made a tutorial about this. It's um, tutorial number 19 I think um, or somewhere around there. So you can change the color of those guides and then you can change it from lines and dashed lines. However, the dashed lines is kind of more like really closely dotted lines. So um, just keep it on lines. I, I don't really see why you would want the dashed lines because they're so close together it just lo almost looks like a line. Um, we've got our smart guides color here. Um, you can change th those um, easily. Just um, whatever you want, just make sure it's not I wouldn't have it the same number or color as my guides or anything like that. And then <clears throat> for grid here, this um, changes the grid system within Photoshop. So you can pick your um, own color here or have a custom. Then you got your different styles. And then how many grids are in each of it. So right now it is a gray color. The next thing we got down here is um, for slices, like the uh, slicing tool, which is in one of these. And um, pretty much it's going to just show you the, the line of the slice in whatever color you choose, and then whether or not it displays a number value for each slice. So that's it for this one, which is fairly simple. Let's go to plugins. And here on our plugins here, um, we've got uh, only a few uh, different preferences that we can change. You can set up an additional plugins folder if you would like and what you do there is you just check that box and then you come into like maybe if you have an external hard drive and you want to use that a folder within that for where your other plugins are so you can use that as well. When you change the or when you add the third party plugins this way through the plugins folder they show up within the uh, filter menu so it just keeps like it helps you keep things organized um, <clears throat> you can um, what's new in here is this uh, filters thing here where you show all the filter gallery groups and name and that appears within the filter menu up here so this this menu up here um, I it won't I won't be able to show you unless I restart Photoshop because you can say see changes will take effect next time you start Photoshop. So um, just try that out for yourself if you would, if you would like. And then um, we've got our extension panels here. Allow extensions to connect to the internet and uh, load extension panels. And um, that's for other like. Adobe connected things like Adobe Cooler which is a color um, scheme like extension and um, I would just have these checked unless you're like really don't want to be connected to the internet too much I guess so um, just keep these like that and then we can come down here to uh, type which we only have a couple things um, use smart quotes you want to have that on because then that it uh, basically it's one of the one of the rules of graphic design is make sure your quotes are correct and just use the um, smart quotes the next one down here is the enable missing glyph protection and that pretty much um, selects like unreadable characters so you can see what's going on and the next one is show font names in English and if you don't want that, then it'll show them in their Roman names. So, like, I don't know. I've never had unchecked this before, so I'm not really sure what it does, but because I want to see everything in English. And then you got your text engine options here, which um, 
pretty much East Asian, Middle Eastern. I've always just kept this on East East Asian. So just it's up to you um, which you want to have your text engine options there. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. And we, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next tutorial where we, um, we really won't be doing too much more of this preferences stuff and start getting to some of the cooler stuff. So I'll see you guys then. Good luck. Have some fun.